Today we are in Leesburg. Behind us is the Lake Square Mall. We've actually never really explored the mall. We're not gonna do that today though. It actually closes soon. But, books a million, or you could also call it... Bam. Bam! Like Emerald Lagazi. We're gonna go show you around Bam, in case you've never seen what books a million is like. It's kind of like a Barnes and Noble, but kind of different. They also have, I can't read it backwards, but Mu Joe, Mugg. Joe Muggs coffee. Might get us some of that too. Let's go check it out. Here is a look at the mall. This is all located off of 441. There's PetSmart. This is kind of like the mall entrance, I guess, but we're going right here to Books A Million. We did have somebody suggest this like via entertainment. They said, go there for some food. There's a restaurant in there. So I'll have to do that sometime. Yeah, it's all that, it's all that fun stuff. I don't know where it's at in here though. Maybe we'll look. Books A Million. They've got a lot of cool collectible stuff. Like they've got a really good selection of Funkos. I'm gonna go look at that. Of course you love their books. We're also like the little members. I don't, I don't it wasn't very expensive. I don't know, like $30 a year. Right. And you get a lot of like discounts, a lot of discounts. Here is Joe Muggs, sweet and salty. Barnes and Noble has Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And then this has Joe Muggs. Store hours, Sunday 11 to six, Monday through Thursday 10 to seven, Friday through Saturday 10 to seven. If we head on. And you can see there are just books everywhere. So maybe we'll just do a lap around. Let's do that. We'll do a lap around. Now this section, and I think strategically they did a great job. All the bargain price books are over here. They are right when you walk in. Um, I'll reference. Look at all these cities and lost cities, California, Florida, states. Ireland, Scotland, little Scotland book. That's cool. Now, if we continue, there's kids bargain priced books. Here's a look at part of the mall. So there's PetSmart right there. There are all discount books over this way. There's clearance there. Wow, they've got a lot of sales. Now, if we continue, we've got the Bibles, a lot of Bibles. I always like looking at the different Bibles. Look at this one. And then they've got Bible covers, kids' Bibles, a lot going on there, kids' fiction up over here, inspirational wall with some Bible verses. Look at this, Matthew 6, 9 through 13, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, he is risen. Those are really cool. This is your inspirational gifts. And I love the kids section. That's one of my favorite things. I also love all these toys. They have a lot of good toys in here. I'm excited to look at the Funkos as well. I think they're up over here. Look at all these. And over here we have kids education, more toys, workbooks. Blech. We'll stay out of that section. Did you? more kids books so they have quite a bit of kids books here that's awesome getting into the games i love looking at all the games too games and puzzles hey zelda magazines it looks like this whole wall is magazines and then they do have these i love these and i just got some last time and that's why i'm here but the little like um bag clip so they have different types. I found a Lord of the Rings, and if you have been following us for any sort of time, you know I love The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. What else they got? Universal. Oh, look, there's Disney. Oh. Those are cool. That is neat. That's the Universal one, huh? Jaws, Back to the Future, E.T., Jurassic Park. Yeah, that's neat. Over here is the start of some of the Funkos. We have the Star Wars and the Marvel ones. Um, oh, look at this. That's nice. That's cool. Some, hey, look at Oliver and Company. Some Disney items. And then behind us, you can see here is their Funko section. So they do have a lot of Funkos. Found some pretty good deals here. Uh, look, here's Mickey Mouse. So we've got Mickey Mouse. No price. 
Does that mean it's free if there's not a price on it? What about chip? Twelve ninety nine. Not bad at all. Like I said, I found some good ones in here before. Scan in some more Funkos. There is a Powerline shirt, only ten dollars. That's really cool. Looks like they got. Oh, look at that. Green aliens. Yeah, that's neat. Only ten dollars. Oh. Winnie the Pooh, that's a cool one. And then right over here we have Joe Mugg's Coffee. I think we'll have to go in there and get us something. There's, look at the, look at this. How neat that is. Very cool. They've got just some neat, cool things in here. If we head on down even further, some wall art, some more action figures. And then kind of takes us down here to Another little section. I've never seen this one open down here, so I think the only checkout spot is at the front. Um, while we're over here real quick though, let me go take a peek out here. I don't know where that entertainment place is. Here's a brief look at the mall. Like I said, I think most stores are about to close. So it seems pretty like quiet in here. And then, I mean, oh, there it is. So it's down at the very end. Okay, we're here. It's all the way down there. Just an overview of the mall. We'll have to come in sometime and maybe do a tour of the actual mall itself. All right, back in here. Again, have to probably stop in here and get us a drink for the ride home. But as we're walking this way, oh, Lord of the Rings. I'll show you where I found the little collectible clips. And right here, something magical is brewing. Ooh, butter brew. Look at these. Yeah, we're gonna have to get something here. These look really cool i love the theming a little closer look at the menu cheesecake say cheesecake all right continuing on this side now looks like books to binge fiction um i also like looking at all these little things out here like look here's 50 percent up to 50 percent off over here then um over on that wall is where I need to go because that is where the Lord of the Rings little bag clips are. Oh, Junie B. Jones. Love Junie B. Jones. Here's the little travel Disney section. And then right over next to that, they've got Big Road Atlas 2023. They've got some t-shirts. Peachy. More little sales. A Harry Potter section. Some t-shirts. I want to go show you the little Lord of the Rings things. All right, this way you have the sci-fi. And then if we turn towards right next to Joe Muggs, here is the Lord of the Rings Hobbit section. So I absolutely love this section. Um, they've got some really cool stuff over here. Uh, but down here, so they've got some action figures. What's this one? This one's Game of Thrones. That's neat. And then right here, Lord of the Rings bag clips. I did get a couple and I got let me show you on this side. Here are this. Here are the ones I got. Here and here. I want to get. Obviously, Gandalf would be cool, but I don't know what the. Um, I don't know what the exclusive ones are. I, I feel like this one's kind of lucky, maybe. I don't know how much they are. Six ninety nine. I'll grab two of them. I've got some cool uh, Game of Thrones figures as well. Now six thirty, and we'll be closing in thirty minutes. If you must leave through the mall entrance, we ask that you do so now as the gate will be closing. Books a Million will reopen tomorrow at 10 a.m. And as always, thanks a million for calling. <laughs> thanks a million for shopping at Books a Million. There you go. They close in 30 minutes. What do you have here? Sweatshirt. Oh, that's neat. I really like that. <laughs> well, if they close in 30 minutes, I'm not going to get coffee then because no. I would hate that. Yeah, I would hate for somebody to come in at 30 minutes till. Look at all the world's smallest toys. I love these, these are awesome. These are very cool. We were just over there and then Timber just found, there's also Friends bag clips right there. Uh, look, that's funny. Oh, wow. Since they do close soon, I didn't know they closed. I guess I didn't really pay attention to the time. Um, let's kind of make it up here towards the front so we can get checked out and not be here while they're trying to close everything. Um, we left off kind of right here, here's business. There's cards over there. Um, and then up here around the corner, 
we have all of these calendars. They've got a lot of calendars in here you can buy. They're obviously on sale right now because the year has already started. And then more cards up here by the front. They've got journals, some more wall decor, more calendars. Look at the dogs. Little gift sets. If you've ever been to a Barnes and Noble, they always have this kind of stuff up front at Barnes and Noble. So same sort of thing here at Books A Million. Look at the giant pencil. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, I think we're almost done. I love these little things. And this is the front. This is where you check out right here. So that's what we'll be doing. You can see some of their deals with the Books A Million Club. That's what I mentioned walking in. 40% off hardback bestsellers, 20% off featured items, and 10% off of almost everything else in the store. All right, got a few things. Heading back outside. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So, fun little fact is we had a like an email that said 40% off one of the books or whatever, and so I got it up there, and he's like, oh, you should have a code for that. And I looked, and it said online only. He gave us a little secret, though. And what did he call it? Bopus. Bopus. online pick up in store yep he said you he literally said right now and we didn't want to because we gotta get home but he literally said if you want you can go online order it i'll set it aside it'll process in our uh, computer like right away and then you get it so just so you know it's sometimes worth it just to go online buy and pick up in store would have been cheaper i mean it really wasn't like that expensive so it wasn't worth it this trip but it's good to know that they offer that in future we'll just pay attention yeah to them and, use them. and it does stink we didn't get coffee however it wasn't going to make them work when they're closing soon yeah. the guy at the counter though that's the second time we've been in there with him he is awesome yeah, he's, he's really super nice. funny super cool um before we do an outro i think let's go in the car and see what we got all right i hope we don't get repeats like i mentioned in there we got we have gimli, gimli and, we have nazgul and we've got also. nazgul i would like gandalf it just says those are i know i mentioned ones? that in there i want the oh Exclusive. I like the mystery ones. So just no repeats. That's all I'm asking. No yeah. repeats. Big money, big n money, no repeats. Just rip the band-aid. Rip. Oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yes, look at it. precious. Hey, that was good. Thank you. That's solid. Ew. <coughs> Ew. He is not the one I would ever want. That I'm just glad that's that goes with the collection. What if I just get them all? What I'm they could make a lot of money one, and two, just put two of them in there and name one of them Smeagol. <laughs> Eleven. That's true. Eleven of them. So that means we already have three of them. When I we, I really want either probably Pippin, Legolas, or Gandalf. Gimli's little though axe thing is yeah. kind of like flimsy. Flimsy. So that's here we go. When we get, when we move, hopefully I can get out all my collections and I can just do it. No, oh it's my Smeagol. goodness! It's not Gollum, it's Smeagol. <laughs> oh, oh, you know who loves that? Your who? mom. Yeah, my mom and dad. That's that might be coming to you right your, there. Your mom does not like. Don't it. let that haunt you at night. <laughs> it, <laughs> no, no. I mean, no, I no. think this is scarier than the actual Gollum in the movie. That literally looks this like this little thing. Jaws. Ugh. Why the same in the same pat? Like the. Uh, you're right though. You. You spoke it into existence. I guess. Well, there you have it. We did get, well, three out of four. That's not bad. Three out of four ain't bad. Three out of four ain't bad. All right. That was our trip out to Books A Million Bam. or oh, Books A Million or Bam. Books A Million or Bam. <laughs> there you go. Um, great store. Really enjoy going in there. They've got a lot of cool things. Um, probably could spend quite a bit of money in there if we wanted to. Probably have spent quite a bit of money in there before. Yeah. I'd say we've been to, I was a big Borders fan until we went out, RIP, and then Barnes & Noble. What's your favorite, Barnes & Noble or? Borders. Well, I know, but, or Books A Million. Borders. Okay, Borders. I think. I really like Barnes & Noble. I do too. But I do like Books A Million a lot. They're both good. Yeah, they're both good. In their own ways, they're both mm -hmm. good. Um, next time, maybe we can get some coffee. We'll just have to come a little earlier, but. We'll also have to check out the mall sometime because I know we did get a suggestion for that via whatever it was called, entertainment. entertainment and I guess we'll just go in and check it out. Um, but I, if you're looking for something to do on the weekend or just anytime, I would go into Books a Million, look around, gives you something to do. Get a book. 
Get a book. Read get a book. get. Oh, you're, he's hidden. Oh no. There. <laughs> Urgh. <laughs> <laughs> My precious. You never end up getting books. You always end up getting toys. toys. Love the toys. <laughs> With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.